Welcome to another beta of the Scene Director mod. This time we'll focus on the major new developments, which we'll be concentrating on in the future releases, which is called the Bird's Eye Mode. So this is the first beta where you can actually see it working. So the Bird's Eye Mode will give you control of the camera, and with that you can test out new camera angles, what will work for your scenes, and you can also then go in and actually edit the recordings. For now we're just showing it, but the next uh, functionality I'm working with now will allow you to actually adjust the recording after it's been recording. So let's jump straight into the bird sight mode. So uh, the first thing you're going to notice and which you need to take a bit of care of is the mouse cursor. That needs to be somewhere inside of the screen. That is now controlled by your mouse, normal, and will allow you to rotate the camera. But it doesn't work on the edges right yet, like you see here and on the other edge and up and down. In addition, you will use the WSAD keys to move backwards and forwards and sideways. And if you want to be move a bit quicker, you hold the shift key in at the same time. Then you have the left and right mouse button where you can go upwards and downwards. So if you want to test out a different camera angle, you can move your camera where it wants. And this actually now replaces the game camera when you go into the Rockstar Editor, so it will be recorded as well. These markers will not be recorded when you are recording. Uh, this actor now has a recording, and um, a recording consists of many different recording items, and these are what you're being seen here. So in this scene, he's walking over to the vehicle and then driving afterwards. And you will see there are some possibilities. He's quite close to these cars, and if he's crashing in it, it could be good to actually adjust the recording, uh, or if you have narrow passages. And that's what I'm going to work on with the next um, functionality with this, or the next beta I'm out with. So let's still now just test to run the scene. We set it up to active, and he starts acting. And the arrow here indicates what action is being currently trying to be executed by the actor and then you can see m perhaps okay there it crashed because it was continuing on the previous a bit quick and now it's finished uh, oh it actually crashed it wasn't finished he is a I see even more yeah left so let's try to run off with it and now he's probably confused Let's try that again. Now we're just going to position it from a different camera angle and we can see what happens. So we're setting the scene to active and it, we should now see he's executing the same actions he had earlier. Still crashes. That's typically a, a place where we would adjust his behavior to be different. And now he actually manages to pass through here and finish his scene. And if you now would like to go into Rockstar Editor, we can roll this clip we had, a new project, adding the latest clip from today. Well, that's where I forgot to actually record it. So let's go back, sorry about that. So here you would record it with F1 as you always do, and we forgot to do that. Well. Let's do it again then. We'll go the scene back to passive to set up first and then over and we'll move the camera down here. And let's go. We press F1 and then we start recording the scene. And the camera is a bit jerky now. We'll implement it more smoothly afterwards. Well, hopefully we should see, here we see the vehicle. Uh, we can even pan as it goes along. And we have some issues with the mouse. Okay, so now if we now go into the Rockstar Editor. Let's show you the clip. So see the camera now is set up to game camera and this is what I've been recording. Um, if we go 
move forward a bit, we should be able to see a reactor coming here. And as you see, we are actually now controlling the camera with the movement of the keys. I think you have the same mechanism already to control the camera in the Rockstar editor, but it, I think it's very good for testing out shots. So, the plan features now coming up with this beta or this bird's eye uh, mode will be more on controlling the recording. So you should be able to move close to recording, actually select it and then perhaps move it to a different place or perhaps move the parameters to it or at least see what's happening here. Uh, we should be able to quite easily also be able to delete recording items if you feel there's something uh, extra there, uh, which you don't want to have. So that's it. I'll be releasing the beta on the Discord channel and yeah, feedbacks in the YouTube or on the Discord channel would be very much appreciated. All right, take care.